it's never been online. fun. It's never been fun. That's not from her house. Th- listen, I don't. I think that I've watched too many times where things like that happen, and a woman or somebody's not believed. And then things escalate. Yeah. Tom, he is stalking her. You could think it's cute. If it was my daughter, I'd do something about it. What's going on, guys? JP, Calm Vibes, and I'm back again. All right, so something new happened. DL gave Kanye a little phone call. And uh, just told him straight up. What's up, though? <laughs> Um, I got it. I got to let y'all hear it. I'm not going to be around the bush with it too much. Uh, before we hit it off, um, hit that subscribe, like, notification bell, and I uh, appreciate the new guys coming on. Well, male and female. So I appreciate you all. And if you're new, hey, give me a shout out. But let's get to this. Kanye, of course, crying because DL said something. He don't know what to do. He, he just lashing out at everybody that say, stop. But here's the phone call. It is a, the D.L. Hughley Show, your quarantine. Quarantine connection. Uprising update. Right on. You, you're going to be in Oxnard, California. I'm going to be there this uh, Friday and Saturday. Um, so uh, come check me out. I had an interesting weekend. So. Oh, I would imagine. <laughs> oh, I think that's an understatement. So, <laughs> Kanye, Kanye, you know what's so funny? I woke up at like 4, four o'clock in the morning. I was like, what is happening? Yeah, I didn't. I didn't. I, what did I? Who called me? I forgot who called me. But uh, what's interesting, I didn't care anything about what Kanye said because I think that, I, you know, I meant what I said. I stand on what I said. Here's the bottom line. We wouldn't know what's going on with you if you didn't always put it in social media. It, that, that's the point. You, yep. you can't make, uh, make social media, you make it everybody's business and expect nobody to say anything. Um, so, all, and the only thing I cared about is putting my address out there and making threats. So ended up, what ended up happening is I ended up reaching out to some people who knew the people who were supposed to be the people he was going to send. <laughs> so, it's a lot of people. <laughs> so those people call those people. We end up talking. I end up getting him on the phone, and uh, I listened to him for like 15 minutes. He's, I'm, I'm telling my kids and this and that. And he said, you said I was a stalker. I said, because I believe that to be true. You are a stalker. I believe that. You just that we go back. You mother. I said, I don't, I don't care what you say. I don't care uh, your opinion of me. I, I, I stand on the fact that I think your behavior is, is, is dangerous. I think you're a stalker, and I think you're indulged too much. I do. That's what I think. And I, it's, it's only my business, like anybody else's business, because you put it out there. And the only problem I have is you giving my address out and uh, saying that, I'm a, uh, that, I, that I passed out on stage because I'm a, I'm a drug addict. Everybody knows I'm a drunk, not a drug addict. It's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Get it right. Get it right. <laughs> you can get my vices right. But that whole threat thing, I said, you know you wouldn't talk to me like this. Will you? You're not the only people. Listen, and I ended up saying to him, I said, you're not the only, I'm not the only person with an address. Everybody lives somewhere. What do you think that means? <laughs> and it ended up the dudes who, 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 who I called, who, uh, t- talked to, work with the dudes he knows. So it ended up being, hey, man, we'll stay out of this between y'all. I said, all right, that's fine. I'm going to stand on what I said. I believe it. Um... I believe that that was a manic episode, but what Pete Davidson did, when Pete said, he said, where you at? And he said, I'm in bed with your wife. I'd have killed myself right there with that. <laughs> I would have. <laughs> and he showed a picture of it. Oh, man. Oh, my God. That was horrible. Uh, Say goodnight, Gracie. Yeah, yeah. Oh, my God. Because <laughs> it goes from one thing to the other. It's like, it's like first is your woman, then it's about your kids. And like, even today, she's like, he sees his kids all the time. So you, if you don't want nobody in your business, don't put nobody in your business. Thank you. Put them in your business. That's right. You're but I don't know who you think you're scaring. Not with them. I, I know what you did last summer, Boots. You're crazy. <laughs> I wouldn't get beat up by the Gordon's Fisherman. Are you crazy? That's not going to happen. So. That was the phone call. Now, Kanye continue on with, you know, like I post, like he's gonna hurt someone and all this. And like DL say, the problem, the problem he had was you put my address out, you know, cause now you're affecting his family. And so Kanye, you, you, you're doing too much. I mean, 
Come on, man. If it's between you, like you said, you wouldn't even say this if we was in front of each other. But, you know, there's a lot of other people trying to, you know, I ain't going to say try, but they coming in and they're like, Kanye, you don't want that heat with DL. So I don't know what DL out there that got a hit. You know, some people, you know, a lot of us got a pass. You know, we laid back and chill now, but shit, we weren't back in our day. But, um, you know, and it don't take a lot to bring it back out. So maybe that's what they try and tell Kanye, you don't want them problems. So um, check out what Steve Harvey had to say when uh, when he talked about it. Pull up, man. You know, I done said with you before, but I done said with that brother many times. Just pull up. It ain't what you want. I'm telling you. And if y'all if y'all do get to scrapping, all my cash on DL. You have no yeah. idea. Yeah. You have no idea. You've been a little. You've been a. Uh, you've been a little. Uh, uh, politically, Shelter. socially conscious rap. Uh oh. We from an ass whooping era. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Not the whole totally era. Yeah, we're from a whole nother era. Huh? Yeah, yeah. When you can come out of my house in Calabasas. Mm. Yeah. Mm. He yeah, lives yeah, in Calabasas. Yeah, yeah, come on, man. Back, back up. Yeah, is my guy. He I'm got, sorry. No, no, he got he too much. Yeah, and you ain't talented. got to call him a leftist because you ain't really no rightist. You ain't even really on the right. Dog. You a wrongest. <laughs> really? You a wrongest. Come on, yay. We all He's good, wrongest. man. I don't know yeah. why you going at DL. DL yeah. ain't your problem. Come on, no. leftists, you could do better than DL. This yay, bring the real DL smoke, had a baby. life before these jokes, yeah. just Kanye. You might want to check yeah. into that. Yeah. All right, we're moving on. See, and that's the thing. See, Steve Harvest came in on this and trying to tell him, like, you mess with a different type of dudes now. These are not social media dudes. So you you kind of out of your thing. And then, but the thing that I don't like about Kanye is, you scream all this stuff, you talk all this shit, but then you go pulling up bullshit on people. Like, um, and it's funny because, you know, DL said something about it earlier. When you try to say he was on drugs, and, uh, but he said, no, nah, I wasn't on drugs. He said, I'm not a drug addict. He said, fuck, I'm an alcoholic. You know, and he fell out on a stage one time from probably exhaust. You know, most of them guys and artists fall out like that, you know. So, this is what Kanye tried to post on DL. All right, now check this lame shit out, man. You're gonna miss it when Trump takes him away. <laughs> we made it four days so long ago, and we came back. Uh, never, remember, ever want to give her a Thanksgiving? So, that's the wrap up on this thing, man. <clears throat> the thing is, Kanye, if you didn't put the shit out there, people wouldn't know what you're doing. You can't get mad at people because they're talking about it. You're putting it out there, trying to make it seem like nobody, you don't get to see your kids when you people are coming back and saying you do get to see your kids. Don't get mad at everybody because they're saying something because you're putting it out there. You don't want out here crying. That's not going to get your wife back. If it wasn't Pete Davis, it'll be somebody else. But get mad at everybody and commenting at them and trying to make threats at them. You gonna make you making yourself look dumb. I mean, real dumb. Okay, you can get people behind you and say whatever. You look like a damn crazy ass stalker chasing after this chick. Again, with you say you had ten billion dollars, why you don't have better custody with your kids? why you don't have better visitation with your kids because i think you do and you're just playing this shit on the, when everybody think you're not you know feeling bad for yourselves and shit because you pick up the kids they bring the kids to church service and all this the oldest just don't come sometimes but other than that come on man 
you're tripping out here. You're looking bad. You're making brothers look bad out here. And all this political talk bullshit, nobody don't care about that. That era the past. That past with, you know, who are, I ain't gonna call his name. That past with all them knuckleheads. So people, let me know what y'all uh, think about this shit. Uh, me, I think it's all trash. Kanye need to chill the fuck out. Um, subscribe, like, comment, hit that notification bell. I appreciate you guys popping in. Like I said, I just got this today, so I had to hit it. Um, enjoy your life, man. Don't do dumb shit like this. This would not, young brucks, this would not get your kids back in your life and your woman. So don't follow up this bullshit. This is JP with Convives, and I'm out of here. Peace. Peace.